Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to configure OpenAI Chat with the Virtual Agent Chat in Service Portal. The very first thing we need to get is the API key for OpenAI Chat. So make sure you sign up to OpenAI and then obtain the API key by creating a new secret key. Once you have it, save it and keep it stored somewhere else safe. Now let's open the studio in ServiceNow and the first, um, the first configuration we're going to open is the REST message. So here we have the endpoint for completions and as well, we have the HTTP method post for those completions. So if, if I open this HTTP method, then we'll see that uh, it is a post and the endpoint is completions. You can find um, all this documentation directly from the making request URL that is available in the description. The next thing we need to uh, C is now there's a script include uh, a utils open AI util class that we're going to leverage to call that web service and get communication with open AI. So basically we are going to um, run the rest message through that um, endpoint is it is a post method and of course um, we need to provide the API key in that authorization URL and we are going to set the completion settings as well for this one and we would have the model. So we're going to execute this web service and we're going to obtain the body, the status code. We're going to put it on the logs and then we are going to pull exactly the AI response, whatever we ask. So we get a response and we're going to obtain it and put it as well on the locks. And we are going to return that object to this function um, whenever it is called. Then for virtual agent, so we have to create a new topic. So this topic, we're going to name it Jarvis open AI. Uh, as well as this whole application, custom application in ServiceNow is called, gonna be called um, Jarvis as well. But here the most important part is the flow that we're going to have in this topic within the virtual agent to have conversations with OpenAI. So initially what we're gonna ask is input from the user so uh, here we're going to greet the user and then we're going to ask him to write some questions. Once the user enters some information or questions, this is going to trigger that web service for the endpoint in OpenAI. It's going to provide the input by the user and then we're going to wait to get a response back from the AI. Once we get the response in the next question, we are actually um, displaying the response from the AI in open chat, in open AI chat. But as well, we're going to give the option for the user to exit this conversation. Then we're going to wait for the next input of the user. That's where we're going to make a decision. If the user types exit, then we want to exit the conversation and we'll finalize the topic. If the user doesn't type exit and he types anything else, maybe another question, then we're going to send that other question to OpenAI endpoint in order to receive another response. This is what the next conversation will do. We'll run again the web service for OpenAI to get a response. If by any means we don't receive any response, then we're going to end as well the topic. 
That's why we have an end message, just to read again the user saying thank you for using this, and then we're just closing the topic. However, if there was another question made by the user, then we're going to receive a response from OpenAI, and then we're, we're actually going back to the next question. If we now open the two system properties that we have created, one is for the API key and the other one is for the API model. The API key, it is essential. As I show you at the very beginning, we need to have an API key, a secret key that we can use and paste it here in this value because this is going to be leveraged by the script include when calling the web service. As well, there's a second property called API model and here by default, we're going to use text DaVinci 003. For more information on models, please follow this URL. At your convenience, there is a Jarvis OpenAI application in the left navigator of the platform view where you can click on the settings and then you can enter the API key and as well the model. Now it's time to, like, to take a look into the virtual agent. So we're going to open the service portal. We're going to click uh, open chat window. We're going to let uh, load the virtual agent. As you can see, the name is Jarvis. Then we're going to click on show me everything. And here we're going to see the Jarvis open AI topic. We're going to click on it. And then we are receiving the first welcome prompt. So now um, it is asking, how may I help you? So I'm going to type the very first uh, question. I want to get uh, uh, assistance. And I'm going to ask that my Outlook application is not connecting. What can I do? So I'm going to send this question. Then after a few seconds, the open AI chat will return with a potential troubleshooting or steps to validate that connection with Outlook, as you can see. Let's type another question here for BPN and let's see what answer do we get. So my BPN is throwing me an error, access not granted. So that's why the AI chat the open AI chat actually it is giving me this advice or instructions or troubleshooting on what can I do to reestablish that connection for the VPN. Now that open AI is becoming very popular, having a virtual machine agent chat enhanced with AI brings some limit opportunities for better user experience. Let me ask another question here. How can I change the Internet's proxy settings? Let's see what do we get in response. There we go. It's giving me the steps to change proxy settings in a Windows operating system. So this is very technical, of course, for users wanting to get some help from the virtual agent with AI. This is pretty awesome. But what else can I ask? Of course, it's AI and he can answer any other question not related to IT as well. So now let me ask this different question here just for fun. What states are part of road 66? And then it gives me the list of states that are part of the route 66. Let's make another final question here. Who are the top five YouTubers and how much money did they make? Incorporating AI to virtual agent chat skyrockets to endless opportunities. You may download the application for ServiceNow with the link provided in the description. Hope you have enjoyed this awesome feature. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.